Hello guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how to draw this green with the star shape like this in FreeCAD. Okay, so I start um, by create a new uh, primitive and we create a uh, ellipsoid. And uh, everything is in default. Great. Uh, because I want to work uh, in the front view, so I go to transform and I rotate it 90 degree facing to the front, as you can see, 90 degree here. I go to the front view and I change the radius 2 and radius 3. Uh, so radius 2, we change it to uh, 10 to make the width to 10 and the height to uh, 12 to make the basic form of the ring go to the right view and we we'll change the thickness of the ring to um, 5 maybe 4 ok something like this Next, um, now I create a new sketch in the top view and I offset this up to 15. I create a polyline. Now I will sketch the left half of the star. Okay, and I want to uh, position it to get the shape that I want. I delete the horizontal constraint and continue to edit. I close that and I will rename this to left create another sketch on the top view and also offset it up to 15 Okay, now you can see I have some horizontal constraint up here, so I just delete all of these constraints because I want you to uh, position it freely. Now I just simply shape the star. Okay, make sure the two uh, sketches not touching. So I go to the left and bring it far away. So now we have this shape. I'm going to call this one right. Now I go to the drag workbench. Click on the left. Go to create a new clone. I create two clones based on the left and rename it in order left.
left one and left two. Doing the same with the right, create two new clan and rename it in order. Now go to the front view. I shift select these four, go to the scale and scale these four down to 0 0.5 for S and Y. No need to scale in the Z axis because they are 2D. So I transform the left one and move it to this somewhere in the middle. Somewhere in here. And then I go to transform for the left two and move it down like this. I show the wireframe for you to see. Now I go to the right two, right one and move it to the middle. Go to the right two, transform it to the bottom. Now I'll go to the part workbench. Show the flat line. Go to the left and left, left one, and then left two. Great solid. Okay. So now we have the first left doing the same for the right. Okay. So let's see what we have. And because I want the form of this geometry will look like this. Curve inside like this. So that I will transform the middle, the left one. I will move the left one up a little bit. And then to the right a little bit. Okay. Now I will transform the left two and move it to the left. And you can see I slowly get the the curve, the curvature. Move it a little bit more. Okay. Now I go to the left wheel, and you can see uh, it's unbalanced in here. The left is. Uh, the geometry of the left go out a little bit more. So I go to the sketch and it just uh, this these points longer. I'm doing the same with this one. I transform it. And let's move this one to the left. Go to the right shoe and transform it to the right a little bit. Okay, something like this. Go to the right view. And let me hide the first loft to see this one easier. I think I should go to the right sketch and let's move this one up a little bit. And make sure they are not touching. Make this one far away. Because later I want to do the fillet. So that make sure uh, we have enough space for the fillet. Get something like this. And let's show the love. Now I can hide one of these profile here. Maybe I should make this one a little bit longer. And you can see I have a small geometry come out of the ellipsoid. So first I need to union these two. Go to the union. 
Okay, and from there we'll create a sketch in the front and create a rectangle because I want to remove the symmetry down here of the uh, the star. I just do this to a 50 and I just do the boolean cut to remove it. Now I'm union them together. The next step is the fillet. So we select fillet from here. And we select this vertical edge here and here. Uh, I don't fill that the inner geometry so i just want to uh, fill that the outer one just to about here and i select one of these vertical lines on the right but outside and i do a small fillet Point one. Now we have a small fillet. Now we just select uh, two edges, one in the left and one in the right, and create a small fillet. Point one. Okay, now everything working fine. see the fillet go inside a little bit but not go on around the, the inside geometry which is what I want the next step is I want to create a hole so I create a sketch in the front build a section create a circle on the green line and set the diameter to 16.5 Move this one up a little bit. Close. And we we'll do this to uh, 50 symmetric. And now I'll just pull in cut. As you can see, uh, this hole is close to this fillet up here. So I need to uh, move this uh, circle down a little bit. Move this one down a little bit close now we have now i think we have uh, enough space for the fillet i select this through and go to the fillet let's try point two let's see and then it's working okay we still have a little small room for the fillet but i think uh, point two is good so that's it for the tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.